Here we are back again. It's the end of 2022. And about a week and a half ago, we had a dandy little snowfall, followed by a period of high winds. I want to show you one of the problems with balsam fir on your woodlot when you get uh, when you get any of these mature trees. This balsam fir had all intents and purposes looked like a sound tree, but in the course of this uh, snowstorm. All that wet snow, there was about a foot of wet snow came on it. And as you can see, the inside of the tree was rotted away. There was some kind of a disease got in the balsam fir here many, many years back. And uh, it's very rare that you see a large balsam fir anymore, especially one that's sound. And uh, the unfortunate part is, this is where a lot of your balsam fir will wind up once they hit a certain size. So when you're culling trees, it's a good idea to look for the balsam fir and cull them out. Now we work through this lot uh, different times, and uh, you see we've been we were taking down some firewood here before the snow. But we've been working through this lot trying to maintain or create a stand of uh, a mix of hardwood and softwood, uh, hardwood and spruce rather, I should say. We're trying to get rid of the balsam fir. You can see a few balsam fir right up in there, but we're trying to get close to uh, a pure stand of spruce here because the spruce is stable. Spruce lives, uh, lives a pretty long lifespan. And uh, this is what happens with the balsam fir. They seem to get to about Oh, six, eight, ten inches on the stump, and then they become very unstable. Balsam fir, for one thing, they have the cluster of limbs are right up almost at the top of the tree. And as you can see, right down the length of that trunk, there's not much except for the dead limbs here that are self pruning off. But you get all the weight of the tree up on the top, and uh, it just acts as a sail in the storm. And because all the weight is on the top and then you've got an unstable trunk or unstable stump, this is what happens. It's sheared off there about seven feet off the ground. And uh, unfortunately you can find, sometimes you'll find stands of, stands of balsam fir and uh, this, is, this is the end result. They get to the point they're almost big enough for a saw log and then down they go. So part of road maintenance, keeping your woodlot looked after, is keeping the trash off the road. And we want to get into our campsite, and so this one's got to go.
chainsaw isn't part of my usual arsenal. This is a 170 steel. It's one that my son carries in his truck most of the time. But we just had it on the back of the ATV today. And yes, I know I don't have my hard hat, my visor, and my safety chaps and all that stuff on, but 80% uh, of the stuff I cut, I don't have that gear on. Don't follow my lead. Follow what I say. Anyway, there we are for today. See you.